In today's video, I'm going to be doing a matching Dutch pour on two canvases. These are 10 inch by 20 inch canvases, and I was inspired by my previous dip video um, where I used white, turquoise, light blue, dark blue, orange, and yellow. And I wanted to try these colors out in a Dutch pour to see what kind of design I could create. So for these colors, I have everything mixed with Floetrol and water. I find that the Floetrol helps give me cells, so that is what I will be using. And I'm going to do a split color Dutch pour with half of my canvas being white and the other half being that turquoise color and then I'll add the other colors in to blow out with my little hair dryer. I have a couple of sponge brushes that I'm going to use to help smooth out my paint and also kind of control where that uh, white and the turquoise are going. Um, I would like the same shape on both canvases so I want to make sure that I'm kind of um, putting the same amount of white and turquoise down over each canvas. Using the sponge brush is helpful. I can really smooth out that paint and also make sure that I get the sides of my canvas so that um, the turquoise is covering the sides along with the amount of canvas that I want it covered on the front. Once I had those colors down, I just started pouring my other colors through the middle of the painting and then I'll use my small um, hair dryer to blow them out. Once I had all of my paint down, I just used my hair dryer to blow the white and the turquoise over the other colors and then I will gently blow them out uh, in hopefully a similar pattern on both of the canvases. Overall I really liked the way that this all blew out. I got some really amazing cells and that blending of color was really nice and something that I haven't really done before in a Dutch pour. I think the contrast from the colors on the white and the turquoise look really nice. And this just gives me some ideas for um, stepping out of my comfort zone and doing other colors that I wouldn't normally work with together. 
uh, just to see what I can come up with in the future. So if you have other color ideas that you'd like to see, I know in my previous Dutch pour, someone recommended blue and yellow, and I kind of did that in this piece, but I have some other ideas for a darker blue and the yellow that I was using, just to see what I can come up with. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. I hope you guys like this video, and if there are other Dutch pours that you'd like to see, let me know what colors you want. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do post three videos a week, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.